Take down 63. 63, we're 21. Have EMS respond over here. Before three young Ohio boys were brutally executed by their father, court documents allege their mother and sister heroically attempted to save their lives. The shocking documents also reveal their father considered their execution for months before allegedly pulling the trigger. You're clear they're being advised. Robert, 34, just start a mass casualty response. 63, do you want them to respond to the Laurel Lindale address? Where exactly do you need them? We're right in the front yard. As Law and Crime Network reported, 32-year-old Chad Doerman was arrested and charged in the murders of his three sons, 7-year-old Clayton, 4-year-old Hunter, and 3-year-old Chase, last month. What we have here is the planned slaughter of three little boys, ages 7, 4, and 3. The first one shot was a 4-year-old shot in the house two times then sustained two bullet wounds to the head because of his death. The second child shot was a seven-year-old who fled the residence, ran some 300 feet from the residence, and was gunned down from behind by the defendant. He then approached this little boy who was injured, incapacitated, alive, and shot him in the head twice from close distance. The, 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 there were power burners in the boy's head. And then he went after the three-year-old. And there was a startle with the mother. He ripped the child from the mother's arms and put a bullet in his head. Close range. We're now getting a closer look at the gruesome details that led up to the murders of the three boys. According to court documents, Dorman, quote, did purposefully and with prior calculation and design cause the death of his three children, all three children were under the age of 13 years of age. Investigators were called to the new Richmond, Ohio home on June 15th after Doerman allegedly shot all three boys with a 22 rifle. One boy was shot just once and the other two were each shot four times. Where's he at? Here. Here. Get him right here, right here. You got him on the porch. We've right asked not the last place we've been told. You show me your hands, Joe! Stand up and Stand walk, up and walk towards us! Stand up now! Walk towards us! Stand up with your hands up! Stand up now! Chad Dorman, Chad Dorman. Hey. According to court documents, Dorman returned home from work early on June 15th and requested his entire family lay with him in the bedroom for a nap. As Dorman's three sons and their mother laid on the bed, prosecutors allege he got up and removed a 22 rifle from the gun safe next to the bed. After that, he opened fire, shooting one of the sons. The mother began helping the injured son while screaming for the other boys to run off. The boys' sister, who'd been in the living room watching TV, approached the bedroom just in time to see her first brother shot. After that, court documents allege she screamed for the other boys to run off. She told investigators Doerman chased after one of her brothers and, quote, began shooting as he fled. The documents say the boy was, quote, struck by gunfire, knocking him to the ground. Doerman then apparently shot him at close range in the head. After that, the sister ran back to the home and collected three-year-old Chase. According to court documents, she ran off with a boy, but Dorman caught up. They read in part, quote, As she approached the road, the defendant caught up with her, raised the rifle, and pointed the gun at Chase. Dorman then demanded she put Chase down. After that, she, quote, witnessed the defendant attempt to shoot Chase in the head. However, the gun did not fire, and it appeared he was out of ammunition. At that point, Chase ran over to his mother while his sister ran toward the fire department, saying her father was, quote, killing everyone. It is an incomprehensible uh, act of horror that he perpetrated on this family. So again, that is my most important focus right now, 
is to ensure that they are protected and they are safe. And my hope and wish and prayer is that someday they will be able to find peace. Court documents say Doerman approached Chase and his mother next. They, quote, engaged in a physical altercation that led to Doerman biting his wife to get her to release the boy. After that, she, quote, grabbed the firearm, placing her thumb over the barrel. The defendant shot her through the thumb. After being shot and bit, she ultimately dropped Chase. Doerman then allegedly shot and killed the three-year-old. Next, in a chilling act, Doerman sat down on the side stoop of his home and, quote, calmly watched his wife undertake futile, life-saving measures on her three children. Doerman remained on that stoop until first responders arrived and took him into custody. Where's he at? Here, here. He's there. Shoot on the porch. Get him right here. Know. Right here. You got him on the porch. We've right asked not the last place we've been told. You turn your hands down! Stand up and Stand walk Stand up and walk towards us! Stand up now! Walk towards us! Stand up with your hands up! We got a visual in the veil. Not showing his hands, not following the commands. Stand up now! His name is Chad Dorman. Chad Dorman. I know, but we gotta go. I know, but we can't. You're going to first stage, and he's not complying. You know, he's a shooter. Shoot him. We gotta find cover first. We ain't no good if we ain't safe or so. Hey, hey, no. We need to come from this side where we can see him. Don't take cover behind her. We see him. We're going to approach from this side. We got cover. Right here. Take cover. We got to go. 29 and 63 attack on us. We're not working right now. Show us your Show fucking your hands, hands now! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up now! Stand up! Stand the fuck up! Get your hands out of here. Look at the between one. It's in the air. There's guys who confirm that there's people in the first day, and that's the shooter. He's not complying. They need to take care of the victim. I got it. They have to shoot him and shoot him. We're completely sober. 63, we're going one. Get the EMS over here. Well, I, I did drugs with Cliff, but I don't need drugs now. Body camera video captures what appears to be Dorman's wife screaming, saying, quote, You took my life from me. We got three men now. Down, 63. 63, we're 21. Have no, no, no. EMS respond over here. What do I do? You're clear they're being advised. Robert, 34, just start a mass response. 63, do you want them to respond to the Laurel Lindale address? Where exactly do you need them? We're right in the front yard. Doerman himself acts very calm after he's handcuffed, even saying he will not hurt first responders. Can I roll over? I ain't gonna hurt you. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hurt nobody. You got anything on you? No, I ain't got nothing, man. Phone, that's it. I'm mad. I ain't, I ain't nothing. Just make sure that dog don't come out. I don't think he'll bite you. Just don't reach for him and try to grab him and pet him. All right. He won't bite you. What's going on, man? Nothing. Uh, can I stand up? It's kind of uncomfortable. I'm gonna get you I ain't gonna you do nothing. I ain't running away. You can do whatever you want with me. Here. You the only one else inside the house? What? You the only one else inside yeah, the house? Yeah, yeah. Sit down right uh, here. My my daughter, she ran over to the fire department. Sit down. Uh, it's my stepdaughter. Put him in the cage. Yeah, yeah. This is real, real. 
separate body camera video then shows officers put Doerman in the back of a squad car. Let's go, let's go. What else do you need? Can you get the wallet out of my back pocket? Shut up, dude. You yeah, had the right to main side with the fucking easy. Yes, Court documents allege Dorman, quote, admitted to having been thinking about shooting his son since October. During an interview with first responders, Dorman allegedly said this thought weighed so heavily on him, quote, he hadn't slept for three or four days prior to murdering his three sons. He also told first responders, quote, I did it, take me to jail when they arrived on the scene. Dorman has since been charged with nine counts of aggravated murder, four counts of felonious assault and eight counts of kidnapping. Ohio prosecutors have already signified they plan to seek the death penalty in his case. I can't go into a whole lot of facts, all right, because this is a death penalty case. And my goal is to have this man executed for slaughtering these three little boys. Despite the revelation that he'd been planning his son's murders for months, Dorman pleaded not guilty to all charges in the case. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.